simple that he is so complicated, but uh, I love the way he is. He's just amazing. I think the Tour de France wouldn't be the same without Peter, to be honest, because it's not because of the green jersey, it's not because of uh, of his complexity as a rider, it's because of his nature. Like, he's so fun to be with that the uh, Tour is very colorful because of him. I think he's a natural born winner, for sure. In everything he does, he wants to win. Of course, of course. That's the that's the only I would say that's the only reason why he does it because he wants to be the best. In normal life, does he want to be the best as well? How can you tell? Uh, well, depends. Like uh, he would like to be the best, but uh, if it's me in something, just in in some scenarios, then he's all right. Like he can be second too. Can you give an example? We played chess once <laughs> and he lost, which was not the best. Uh, but he actually admitted that I was better and then uh, I'm ex-tennis player so we played tennis a few times and I won uh, because, because I'm ex-tennis player so but he admitted as well so it's good. The fact that he's second, I think it might be even better than being first because these second places are actually bringing him a glory, <laughs> as you can see all around. So many people wish that he wins, that he's getting more and more popular just because people are just uh, praying for him to win. So, because you know how it is, if he wins, like he will be first, then again first, then again first, so it gets boring. When he's second, third, fourth and he aims for the first place, then it's, it's much more interesting. There was a nice headline in one of the newspapers in Slovakia that the history will remember the winners and Peter Sagan. So I think this will be something that people will be talking about. He's a winner, but even if he doesn't win as of now on till never, like I think it will be the debates will be about the winners and Peter Sagan.